Most people can go back and look through old family pictures and photo albums and videos and, you know, remember their childhood and what they did. Well, I can't do that um, because when I was younger, after my mom divorced her ex-husband, um, she we were homeless and so she rented a storage unit to put all of our things in. Well, after a while, she couldn't pay for the storage unit anymore. So they auctioned off all of our things and went with it. With it went all of our pictures and videos and art of anything that we had that was reminiscent of you know my childhood or what you know we had gone through before. And so most of my memories start with my first year of moving. So my aunt Wanda calls me one day in the middle of March and she's like, Jasmine, you know you're going to Usher camp. So I'm like freaking out because I'm so excited. Like I've never heard anything like I've never heard anything like this before. And this is just like it's a two week camp. It's absolutely free and Usher's putting it on. And it's like I I was excited. I was thrilled. Um, the the best things I remember from my first year was the first night when we all checked in and we're all sitting around, you know, introducing ourselves and meeting each other and you know talking. And Usher comes in to talk to us, and I remember he said, you know, you guys, like, we're family now. He's like, I'm not Usher, is a celebrity, like, we're family. And that really, like, meant something to me, because at the time, I didn't really have any, like, male figures to look up to. My dad, I had, I, I, at this point, I still hadn't met my biological father. I didn't know who he was. Um, my mother's ex-husband, you know, he wasn't the best person or whatever and then I just I didn't have anybody like I didn't have like a male figure in my life so for Usher to come in and say you know we're family and then he would pop up at camp and he's like really showing like a genuine interest in us like that I, I took that with me for really long and the biggest thing that it's taught me that there's no the only limits that you have are the limits that you place on yourself um you know what I mean it's like why can't I go out and do everything that I set out that I said I wanted to do like there's you know no limit new look has really given me this new perspective where I can listen to someone tell me um you're not going to make it as a singer the music industry is shallow or you're not going to be able to do this you're not going to do that and I can look them in the face and say yes I will and be completely confident about it because new look gave me that confidence to say whatever I put my mind to I can do it as long as I you know put the hard work behind it I can do anything if I wasn't, you know what I mean, re taking what I had, what I gained from New Look and giving back by mentoring the kids that are coming in, mentoring, you know, freshmen at my university or, you know, just giving back via service, like, period. If all of the work, it, would, it wouldn't mean anything. Like, I'm sitting and having lunch with CEOs and vice presidents of Fortune 500 companies. And I am, you know, just, I'm... A little black girl from Decatur. I'm not. Nobody expected me. My mom had me. She's 13 years old. Nobody expected me to not only graduate high school but to be going to college. I, you know what I mean? Like nobody expected me to do the things that I've done. And so I want more. I want New Look to reach more kids that can prove other that can continue to prove people wrong. Thank you so much to Usher and everyone who had a hand in making New Look what it was and helping me create the most amazing memories of my life. And here's to 15 more years.